I'm Rod Stoppelben with Optimal Device. We do design and analysis with the life sciences industry. One of the most common injuries is to break, break your wrist and then they put a cast on there. And casts really haven't evolved over the years. It's pretty much just some, some plaster that's wrapped around your wrist. It's really nothing more complicated than a splint. Um, they are hot, they're itchy. If you've ever had one, you, you know these issues. And what I wanted to do is to see that if topology optimization with Tosca and Side Abacus could evolve away a, ge a geometry that would be more comfortable, would be lighter, and use 3D printing to, to wrap it all together. So I ended up getting some CT scan data of, of an arm that was healthy. So it had skins, bones in there. Uh, put an FEA mesh on there in, in Abacus, and then numerically broke it roughly here. And then in Katia, I made an offset of your, of your geometry. So basically from right, right below your elbow to right above your wrist and had it so there was a, a thickness relevant to, to a traditional cast. So from there, I, I brought the cast in from Katia in, in to, into Abacus and applied loads to, to the hand to stress the, the fracture site. After I had those results and I was happy with them, I then wrapped it into a topology optimization with Tosca inside the Abacus CAE GUI and let it erode away whatever cast material was not being effectively utilized. Basically what Tosca typically ends up with is a, is a trust sort of structure. In this case, you've got a, a region of damage and you've got the, the distal and proximal end that, that uh, probably are gonna support the most load. So my, my premise was that you'd end up with a, a ring of cast at, at the distal and proximal end and also another band near the, the brake site to shield from shear stresses. And when, when I actually did the, the optimization, it actually made a very similar structure with uh, three bands and, and some connections between those. You could then 3D print this, this uh, structure and you'd have to print it as two separate parts that could be clamshelled over, over your arm. And I imagine there'd be a, a piano hinge sort of uh, structure that then you'd slide a pin through to actually get it so it was assembled on your arm and also removable. I imagine that this would be a much more comfortable design and certainly you can scratch your itch. Any project that you ever find in your, in your, uh, your travels through corporate America, if you can learn a new tool, jump on that project. Even if the rest of it doesn't look cool, just to learn a new tool is, is a reward in itself.